Is it busted? Let me try. There's a lock up here, Charles. You gotta like. Oh, I didn't you gotta see open, that. You gotta open that. I told you I'm blind. <laughs> This is cool. I like how there's a massive like 20 foot retaining wall with a fence and then somebody cut a hole in the fence right here so anyone can just come in. Does this ever turn on? Um, Bro, that thing's gonna turn on, you're gonna have air shooting through your whole place. It's decorative. Welcome to the Upper East Side. We're seeing a whole bunch of apartments today that I haven't seen before. This is a great part of town. Lots of restaurants, lots of bakeries, very fun. All right, what's up, man? Brand new apartment. Woo! This is not a weird apartment. There's actually nothing wrong with it. How much is it? It's like, what, the whole floor? It's a three bedroom with an office space. Oh. It does have a cool view though of construction. It's too loud, we should go back inside. Okay, that is a lot quieter, but everything about this place is great. We got this nice heavy door, you walk in, shoes in the corner, and then we have this long hallway that you can put some pictures on. After the hallway, bedroom and bathroom, bedroom and bathroom. Two more bedrooms this way, and we have the common space. Table, couch, entertainment center. This is big, 23 by 13 and a half. There's like a museum across the street there. And it's nice how when they designed this, they kind of stuck the kitchen in the corner. But will it be enough kitchen for you? Pretty good. Interesting design. This is actually hot, so that's, ow, I kind of burned myself. That's your heater. Don't touch it. Fridge and everything else is kind of basic, but it's all very functional. Cabinets go all the way up. One outlet in the corner. Would have been nice to see more outlets, but the stove is so big that you're not gonna plug much in over here. Brand new washer dryer. If this is your first time seeing apartments in New York, this could be the only time we see laundry, it's rare. That's a big medicine cabinet. And we've got two of these full baths. They're both identical with different shower heads. It's like they found one and switched out the other. New York landlords always trying to save every penny. Jokes aside, the bedroom situation here is amazing. Our first two rooms are virtually identical. Heaters that hiss a little bit. Inspiring scenery. All right, this is incredible. What a. What a view, man. You can see everything out here. That's actually the kitchen window right there. And that's where your keys are gonna fall if you're not careful. So make sure you're careful. This one, the view's a little bit better. You can see exciting things happening inside your neighbor's apartment. These rooms are both about 95 square feet. Then we have the smallest room in the apartment. This one is definitely a little bit on the tight side. This is eight by eight, but it has arguably an upgraded view. Look at that. That's hot, we learned. There's also a big closet just outside of it in the hall and if this is your room you have to fight your roommates for this look it even has a weird outlet in it for some reason especially whoever gets this room this guy's not gonna need any extra closets in fact this almost feels unfair look at that two walk-ins it's a walk -in. it is Boy. we've also got tons of light pouring in and this is 13 8 by 14 6. i think the next one we're gonna see is gonna be interesting yes. What is the owner here, a photographer or an author? He's both. This is a beast of a place. Rent is 17. 17? Five. 17,000. 17,000. Four bedroom, three and a half bath. 4375 per person to have roommates. The tub is plastic. It's nice, um, 
but it's plastic. But not only does it look really cool with the little feet, you got the wand, shower number one, and behind it, shower number two. Someone told me that this is called a Roman shower, but the uh, Romans are extinct, so maybe you don't wanna use it. Two sinks, two medicine cabinets. There's also an entire Walgreens farm. Oh, yeah, yeah. we have some, uh, some clearance issues. Whoa. It's a little too long. If they had just boosted it up a little bit, Whoa. it would clear. All you need is this clearance just to put That's stuff That's true. In Cash. Am I being too critical? Yes, he is. Pretty sweet. This is what the Corn Chef's Kitchen We got a monster sink with this crazy sprayer. $17,000 water pressure. We have a Wolf brand oven. Look at this thing, it's blue inside. Red up here, that's how you know it gets hot. You can make those keto meals you're so crazy about. Keto. The vent was stolen from a restaurant. Okay, it's at the max power. Frying up them steaks, huh? It sounds like we're at the airport. Your hair's blowing in the breeze. Dishwasher. Fancy fridge. Probably got an ice maker in here somewhere. Um, oh, this is a Zub Zero right. from Mortal Kombat. That's right. Long Ooh, Electrolux. All right, so we got the complete kitchen and look, you could have like five stools under this breakfast bar. This living room is 25 feet by 15 feet. Now, since that's the breakfast bar, that should be the breakfast table. Charles, where you put the TV up in here? You will put the TV over here. Oh, I probably should have seen those massive holes. Yeah, I mean, there for a reason, you know? Now, luckily, you're not gonna need this 10-foot ladder to change the light bulbs, because those are actually LED bulbs up in there. Did you talk about the hair and bone floors? No, I just covered the kitchen. No, 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 talk about the floors. Oh, that, oh yeah, the fancy floor. It's not plastic, that's all I know. That's right, hard wood. But the bedrooms, will they be promising? Storage is nice. The view is, um, this room has its own bath, which is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Fancy shower head. Maybe I was hoping I would be more impressed. Not a bad room, don't get me wrong. It, it even has a fancy schmancy pocket door. There we go, it's so fancy, I couldn't even open it. Maybe it's a little dark for some people. The other rooms are down this way though. Bathroom number three, also a full. The medicine cabinet clears. Okay, this room has a happier vibe to it. It's because of the orange curtain and the natural sunlight. It's also pretty big, 14 by 11. Really like this view. Look at how charming and peaceful that is back there. Storage in the closet. This is so useful. Look at these interesting little heaters they got here. One, two of them. Bed over there, desk, some dressers. But look at this, the room right next door, it feels totally different. Probably because of these massive curtains and maybe it gets a little bit less light. Nice room though, very spacious, big closet. Different shelving in this one though for some reason. I like the wood, makes me feel like I'm getting my money's worth. But the person getting their money's worth is whoever gets this massive room. 18 feet by 16 feet, this is a monster. How many king size beds would you put in here? At least. 15. Okay, that's doable as long as they're king size bunk beds and you stack them up all the way to that ceiling. We don't do bunks. Then this would really be a frat house. Look, you could run around with your frat brothers on this illegal courtyard. Look, you can see it from the bathroom too. If we go out there, someone is definitely gonna catch us and get us in trouble. We are not gonna get in trouble. You with Charles Monroe. Oh, so I can go out there? All right. Here we are in no man's land. There's not really much out here, it's just like rocks. There's like some weird smokestacks. And this is actually the same bedroom that we were just in. I feel like whatever you do out here is gonna be scrutinized by every single one of your judgmental neighbors. Have you rented other people in this building? No. No? So you don't know if these guys are judgmental or not? I don't think so. They could be. I'm going the right way. like a rave in here. What's the rent on this one? 9,500. Two bed, three and a half bath. No, excuse me, two and a half bath. So right after you come in, we've got ourselves a closet, and behind it we have 
The laundry. Ain't no Electrolux. How do you even open this thing? What a bizarre machine. Okay. Hey, hey, do you need help with that? No, nah, I'm good. You know what? As long as it's not a combo unit, I'll take it. That's an awesome pantry. I like this so much better than the more expensive place. Ramen noodles, pork and beans, Vienna sausages. Thank you for saving me $9,000 a month. Okay. Got the same wolf range. Four burners, not five. Is this gonna do the thing? Settings open. Oh, there we go. I like it. Abracadabra. Same dishwasher, same fridge. You see that? Now, not only do we have a view of a building where people spend even more money to live in this neighborhood, we have actual shutters. Look at that. Shutters in a New York City apartment. Way better than curtains. Plus look, this unit has crown moldings. This here be our little half bath. Fancy mirror with a light. Give you that childlike skin and it's a medicine cabinet. Wow, they really love these wall mounted medicine cabinets up in here. I like them too, just they have to open, which this one does. How do you like the rave room? Pretty sweet, right? We're in the club. We're in the club. We're gonna be dead. Oh, oh, I don't go to clubs like that. Seizure warnings aside, this is an awesome bedroom. 12 feet 8 inches by 18 feet 2 inches. And look at this, we've got a little corner view action right there. Right. Beautiful looking full bath. All the bathrooms here are great. Look, we've got some storage going on, some water pressure. Slam it again. I'm sorry. You better be more careful. Look at this, we have a full size walk in closet. Wait a second. Dude. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Mommy! Dude, this bedroom beats the pants off that other bedroom. Whoa! Get in the tub. You didn't tell me we had a special tub here. Yeah, I have the coffee. I mean, I already discovered that these are plastic, but I mean, I like this. Plastic! We got the window. Yeah, look. That ain't. That's cast iron, baby. Cast plastic. We got a fancy toilet here? Does it open? Oh, whoa, look at that. Woo! Did you see that? Bro, what kind of features does this space age place have? Does it close on its own? Oh, look, there goes the other one. Dude, there's no excuse for leaving the seat up or down or not down. This is gonna save relationships. So much. We got the dual sinks up in here as well. Big medicine cabinet. 17 and a half by 12 and a half. There's two walk-in closets here. Look at all that storage. The other one's the same thing. And the ceiling's high enough for a basketball hoop of some kind. I'm sold. You got any other apartments? I do. Me and my girl, we watch it. Thank you. <laughs> have a great day. Thank you. Take care, man. Now I have to rent the last one. You have to. Thank you. There's a lock up here, Charles. You gotta like, oh, I didn't you gotta see open that. you gotta open that. I told you I'm burned. <laughs> This is cool. What does this place cost? $29.50. $29.50, one bedroom. One bedroom, not doors. I like how there's a massive, like, 20 foot retaining wall with a fence, and then somebody cut a hole in the fence right here. So anyone can just come in. As long as they don't touch these wires and that crazy looking transformer looking thing. That's kind of creepy, to be honest with you. But it's a pretty sweet backyard. You could have a uh... giraffe animal out here. Yeah, you can make it a petting zoo. Look, you got some lunatic bird lady neighbor with a bird feeder right there. Does this ever turn on? Um, no. Yeah, right, dude. Oh. I don't believe that for a second. All right, do you hear anything? <laughs> you mean to tell me that's there for no reason? This is like one of the cooling vents on the Death Star right here. You know, the last person rented this, they had like their chair right here, they're trying to read a book, and then whoosh, it just turned on. At least you get a nice breeze. That's true. Lots of airflow back here. No blow dry needed. There's also this weird like timer light type thing. Doesn't seem to turn on, maybe the bulb is out. That's just in case if you leave the light on. It oh, it turns, turns itself off. Itself. We got some uh, some power outlets down here. You could also sit on the steps and sit on the steps. This is kind of interesting. There's like a hole in the fence. Is that where the treasure is? It might be. It also kind of cuts off our view from our window a little bit. I'm being a little hard on this place. I actually think it's kind of cool. Like you could have a hammock, you could have chairs and tables, and this is not a street facing backyard. So there's no like road noise. Just the watchful eye of whoever lives up in there. I really like the security system though. I feel super safe with a big robust lock like this, especially if my bed is right here. It's a 
pretty big bedroom. 11, eight by 11, three. These doors stick a little bit, but um. But another potential option is to just leave this door open. Now you have another corner, the bed could also go here. And you see that mark right there? That was either a TV or a dresser, great spot for like a home office. Plus you got like a ledge. Oh no, that's the heater, Never mind. Don't put anything on that. Great storage in here. We got this old school pantry, lots of shelves. And look at these holes. There was something here, probably some sort of like key rack or coat rack. It is next to the door. 11.5 by 11.10. That's what we are looking at as far as common space. The kitchen is over here. I don't think they're getting a kitchen table in there, but you could have a couch facing a TV with a table underneath it. There's lots of cable wire. That's probably because they expect you to mount something here. Water solid, got a little oven. Ain't no wolf range, but look at that. It comes with a baking tray. Dishwasher, it's got everything. There's even an outlet over there. I don't know what you were gonna plug into that thing. Leave a comment, let me know. These are much more useful. Definitely a coffee maker, a toaster. There's a strange window. Oh, it's a shaft wave view. Boy, that doesn't look creepy at all, no way. It kinda smells. Cabinets look good. A Blomberg fridge, okay. Cool lights. For the price of this apartment, I think this is decent. It's not massive, but it's workable. What the heck happened here? There must have been a real psycho living here before for that to happen. You would need something heavy enough to crack porcelain above it. Maybe like they were hammering it or I don't know. I'm guessing the pieces are here because it's gonna be glued back together. The lights up here are cool. We have a medicine cabinet, which I think opens the wrong way. What do you think? Standing shower, no tub, but it is nice. We got the sliding glass door, soap shelf. It's a decent size. And looky here, the throne over here on the other side of the door. It's like they crammed everything into this bathroom. Tile's nice. Towel rack, outlets, towel hooks. Top quality features. Toothbrush thing. I think there's supposed to be a cup that goes in there. The light switch is also comically close to the molding. I wonder, um, I wonder what was here first. Probably the light switch. But hey, it comes with a full length mirror. And this place hasn't even been painted. You put in some brighter light bulbs. Get rid of the scuff marks. It'll become a happy apartment. And again, you got that outdoor space. All these apartments can be rented through Charles. He's also got a YouTube channel. Make sure you check it out. Link's right here. Subscribe.